Coogan Cassius Eiffel TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. We're in Sheffield here for the Unbreakable press conference. Fighting on the bill, 28th of March. Gavin McDonnell fighting for the vacant European title. Yeah, vacant title, yeah. Um, it's the next title for me, do you know what I mean? We've we worked hard from day one with my brother when he won his. This is where I said I can do this. So now it's like full circle for me. Coming back, win this title, do you know what I mean? And I prove everybody wrong who, who doubted I could achieve what my brother did. Do you know what? It's a bit of a, not a fairy tale story, but your brother was sort of, he become world champion uh, that night in, in Doncaster and you were sort of slipping yeah. behind the radar, behind the radar and then bang, you win the, win the British title and then you get a couple of good wins and then you, the Malinga fight and yeah. then now you're fighting for the European title so it's kind of snowballed for you yeah. in a, quite a short space of time. It is, we, we I've only had 14 fights um, with, with, with the fights I've had, I've took a lot of risks early on um, and all them fights, what I've took they put me in good, um, good, in a good position now. I've, I've got the experience. Uh, although I've only had 14, I've, I've, I've had some tough fights, and they're the fights you learn from. Coming off that Josh Well job, yeah, I was down about it. But I said to my manager, look, I want a big fight. Uh, that's the sort of person I am. I want to prove people wrong. So we took Vusi Malinga. And I can remember getting Twitter, and every, there were 75 percent of people saying, "I think you bit off a bit more than you can chew." I went out there beat Vusi Malinga and now the confidence I've got from that fight going into this fight in, in basically my me, me hometown do you know what I mean it's, it's, it's 15 mile down road on a massive show like this it, this is what I want um, I'm just looking forward to it and um, just, just can't wait how much do you know about your opponent uh, Alexander Yuronov yeah. what do you know about him well I don't know I don't know too much I mean my, my coach Dave Lee he does all looking into it. I mean, I've watched him a few times, and when I have watched him, I mean, I'm very confident. But Dave will come up with a game plan now, um, and it's up to me to, to stick to it and, and get the win, which I'm more than confident of doing. Mm. Um, I mean, like I said, you've not had too many fights, but you're being sort of progressed in the right way. The British level, you're moving on to European yeah. level now, so you're making that progressive stage that boxers are meant to take. Yeah. I mean, I know. Um, through my, my brother's career I've had a little insight and, and he gained a lot of experience he had four four European title defences four or five in the Commonwealth them fights instead of jumping from British to world level they're the fights what you need so when you do win a world title you can you can stay there because if, if you haven't got the experience you can tend to fall, fall short so I mean I'm not going to be calling no world champions out um, anytime soon but I, I think um, four or five fights at this level who oh, no, knows, something might, might come up and be in a fight, you would take it, but I, I think another four or five fights at this level uh, for these, for the European, maybe a couple of defences or these international titles against good, solid solid um, fighters is, is what I need, because 14 fights, I'm, you know I mean? I'm still a bit of a novice, really. Um, I want to, I just want to get the experience over the next 18 months and, and push on, push up their rankings and, and get a world title shot maybe 18 months' time. At any point in your career, have you kind of felt a little bit in your brother's shadow? Yeah, all, t all the time. I mean, people don't see, I, not many people know my brother had a twin. A twin. They'd say, oh, that's Jamie McDonald. I'd be like, I'm his brother. And I'd be like, he's got a brother. And I'd say, yeah. So, and now I go, I mean, when I go on holiday, people say, oh, which one are you? And to me, that, that alone is, I could retire tomorrow and that alone is worth it. Just knowing that, I'm not Jamie, going to be known as Jamie's brother. People now say, which one are you? I mean, our kids had it a couple of times now, people going up to him. I don't Gav, if, if I've just fought. It's, now it's like I'm getting a bit of recognition for, for, for me being me. And, and, and having him achieve what he has, it, it, it drives me on because who wants to be number two in family? Because I don't. And that's, why, and that's the motivation. I mean, I'm proud of, of what he's achieved, but... In theory, I want to outdo him. You know what I mean? And, and, and it's motivation for me, and, and it's good. It's good for us both. Uh, we want journey together, and, it, and, and we're just looking forward to it. We've got a, a big, big year this year, both of, both of us. I mean, let's get it right. I mean, I'm listening to the way you talk, and I think it's it's not like a, a bit of jealousy thing, is no. it? This is a you know a general. Yeah. You know, you want your brother to achieve yeah. the best he can, yeah. and I'm sure and he's same for me. He's yeah. same for you. So you know, but that little. 
camaraderie between the two of you. you know. I mean, we, we were living in his shadow for that long. And unless, you, unless, unless you've done it and you know what I'm on about, it's not a nice feeling. And, 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 and that's what spurred me on to, to get back in gym. And, 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 and this European title means so much to me. I know I won't blow it, do you know what I mean? This is what I said I was going to do. Not one person believed me. None, not one, none of my family, not my brother, nobody. Everybody said, no, you ain't got dedication. And it just goes to show that if you stick at it, four and a half years later, it's my turn. I would never have thought I was sat on a uh, top table with Kellen Brook in a world title fight. It's normally, that's, that's our kid. But now it's my turn and, and you know what I mean? I'm, it's, it's, it's exciting. There's some huge fights at your weight, isn't there, domestically yeah, as well, isn't there? There's, there's, there's a lot of fighters at my weight, domestically, and... Um, Who do you currently think is the best one? Regarding Rigondo. <laughs> domestically, <laughs> so... domestically. Yeah. Um, Toss-up between uh, Frampton and Quigg, I mean, if I watch Frampton, I tend to swing towards him, then when I watch Scott Quigg, it's whoever, whoever I've watched at the time, I mean, um, they're both great fighters and, 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 and I hope that that fight can be made because we all want to know who the best is. I hope it's not going to be a, a like a Mayweather Pacquiao thing because that, that's dragging on now but um, they're both nice kids and, and um, I hope we do find out who the be best, best one is. Would you ever fight your brother? No. We're doing gym mate. We, every day mate we're not lumps out of each other. Um, He's a little bit more skilled than me, I mean, he's carrying a little bit more weight, so he tends to dig a bit harder. I don't think he ever could publicly. I mean, I'd happily do it behind closed doors. Do you know what I mean? I think we'd have to eventually do a, a, a one-off fight properly, do you know what I mean? Head guards, obviously, and, and bigger gloves, but and, and, and have it scored by somebody, and, and a, a, a 12 round fight, and, and have it scored by trusted people, <laughs> and, and, and just to end of our career and, and just see every belt online there next to the ring. I mean, we could we, we could have your down or whatever, do you know what I mean? Oh, we'll film it, we'll it film it. It would be something yeah. to close show on. I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong, we've got plenty of years left in us, but that. You still think of stuff like that, something I would want to do and, and, and generally find out who the number one is. Absolutely. All right, well, listen, Gavin, uh, best of luck in the, the rest of your, your camp leading up to the 28th yeah, and uh, we'll catch up with you a little bit nearer the time. Yep. Sounds All right. Great. Cheers. Thank you very much.